Uh, smart grids are absolutely fundamental if we're going to achieve some of our climate change objectives. If you like, smart grids are the glue, they're the in energy internet of the future, and they are the essential component which is going to bring demand and supply together. In addition, by allowing the use of the generated electricity more efficiently, we save anywhere between 3 to 5 percent of total uh, uh, generated electricity, which reduces emissions and reduces costs of generation. The two main obstacles are consumer acceptance and regulatory change. Um, I think the smart grid needs to provide a compelling value proposition to consumers and um, utilities need to be incentivized to change regulations, um, to adopt new regulations that encourage energy efficiency. One of the key problems that we have with smart grids is who pays and who benefits. Because the key issue is that it's not always the same person who is putting all the money up front for the investments who reaps the benefits. We need to really make sure that the consumer really sees the benefits and, 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 and feel the benefit um, of the smart grid. We've uh, seen unsuccessful smart grid pilots hinge on whether or not consumers think uh, smart meters and the smart grid delivers value to them. So if you can offer consumers a series of applications that provide them visibility and control to reduce their energy consumption and lower their bills, uh, I think you have the groundwork for popular support for smart grid investments broadly. One of the essential points in, uh, to create success is the real uh, coherent development between suppliers and, and distribution system operators. So real collaboration and uh, 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 a strong um, um, appropriate partnership between the stakeholders in, in this issue. Pilots are learning experiences and therefore they have to be big enough so that there's enough data from them uh, to, to have valid information to draw conclusions from, number one. And number two, that we should learn and not be afraid of learning what not to do. That is, what mistakes we have made um, and which, which paths have proven not to be fruitful, uh, which have proven to be successful or fruitful, um, and, and that is the learning we need to refine the approach as we develop the smart grid. When we do these pilots, um, you have to identify very clearly uh, where the benefits will be upfront um, and say, right, this is our objectives. Um, as an example, the city of Miami, um, or the smart energy city of Miami, the benefits are on the reliability and the end user. Um, Kentucky, an area where we do this well, is very focused on the uh, end user. There are going to be opportunities for regulators to provide incentives for particularly utilities and companies to invest in smart grids and we've got to recognise that sometimes the benefits will be there and sometimes they won't. So the whole point about the regulatory environment is to give us the incentives to get the right sorts of investments in place in order to be able to see where the benefits truly accrue, where there are costs, where there are success, where there are failures, without penalising particularly utilities who traditionally have been very conservative in their approaches to investment. Pilots and successful pilots are critical uh, to reshaping the regulatory environment. Successful pilots will show consumer advocates, policymakers, uh, politicians, uh, and regulators that um, the smart grid is improving people's lives, is reducing energy bills, is driving energy efficiency, and I think it's on the back of those successful pilots that uh, regulations are likely to be changed, which change the way utilities make money. Pilots should uh, allow to identify the uh, realistic assessment of the, of the, of the uh, potential of uh, flexibility. They should also uh, allow to test the market models and from these results we should be able to derive suggestions to how to, uh, to shape the regulatory uh, environment uh, for smart grids.